Welcome back to another video. It has been a minute, a minute, and uh, I, I can't really explain too much, but let me just make it brief. I've been gone. A lot of my schedule, a lot of what I've been doing has been uh, just, I haven't really had the motivation to do these videos, but I want to get back on them. And I was messing up with Resident Evil Village. I kept doing way too long videos. And the motivation to edit them was terrible. So I'm sticking to my old plan like I was supposed to do. Where I set a timer for 30 minutes. And I don't exceed that timer. And I make sure as soon as that 30 minutes is over. I suspend the video. And I end it. Just so that can give me you know, the leverage to want to do videos more editing isn't as heavy so i can still do that and still just make content and make videos i want to i'm going to not wanna i'm going to get back into videos again um it's just taking me some time to still get used to it but i i'll slowly more and more start to get back to it um thank you for the support lately seriously all of it's been amazing uh that i've been seeing the little support that you guys have been sharing has been amazing and welcome to all the new people who've subscribed. I am uh, I'm a mess trying to get myself together, right? Trying to make this thing work slow by time, slowly as time escalates, you know? But I don't want to take too much time on this. But that was just a brief explanation of where I've been, what's been going on. I'm not making any excuses at all. I've been lazy. I haven't been wanting to, not been as motivated to make videos, but it's no excuse. I want to get back into it and start doing it. But... I wanted to make a different video. Obviously, what you guys see on here says it all. I wanted to make a new video about a couple things I'm really excited about coming up. A few things, but for now, it'll just be these couple things that I'll be talking about mainly in this video. But I wanted to mention these things because if I didn't, I couldn't call myself a fan. Now, that'll come later, but especially for Nintendo, I have to mention these things. But I wanted to get on with a new announcement that came i wanted to start this with the new announcement that came out and i wanted to react to a bunch of stuff like this i wanted to do more videos like this and uh, let me know how you guys like it i wanted to talk about news things going on all kinds of things especially game related since this is obviously a gaming channel i could definitely do reviews of all kinds of other stuff music all that just let me know and i'll try it out uh, i want to get a new camera before i decide to upload my face but that's something I want to save up too. I'm not nervous to get on the camera. I just want a good camera. But um, nonetheless, let's jump into this. I've been wasting enough time. Just today, I was I drove to work this morning early. Five got up at five o'clock. Uh, got ready, drove to work. While I was there, right waiting, out of nowhere, this announcement just comes out. Nintendo Switch OLED model. I'm subscribed to the YouTube channel, so I just got that pop-up, and I'm like, is this what we've been waiting for? And not quite. Many probably already know from other channels and official pages, but I wanted to do my own reaction and talk about it myself. But um, And just to give my opinion, I, I want to share my opinion, you know, share my reaction to these things. And um, I can't really share my initial reaction because that happened earlier today. But as soon as I got home, as soon as I had the chance, I wanted to hop on and talk about it. This is the all new Nintendo Switch OLED model that is available October 8th, the same day as something we're going to talk about. You guys probably already see up there in the top left in my tabs. But it's, it's a very exciting day. There's a few great things coming out this day that I can't wait for. It's going to rob me blind. Nintendo's trying to take all of my money. If not them, scalpers are. Um, but they came out with a new console. It's Or new, not a new console, but a new variation. A new part of the family of consoles, of the Switch consoles. So you have the, the Switch... Dang, what is it called? The Switch Minis, I think. I could be terribly wrong. What is it? What is it? Hold on. I know this is terrible. This is terrible. Nintendo Switch. Is it the Mini? What, what are these called? Oh, the lights. Okay. 
the lights. My bad. Sorry about that. The lights. So you have the Nintendo Switch Lite, the Nintendo Switch, and now you have the Nintendo Switch OLED model. So this thing doesn't really do much, honestly. It's not too different. So as we can read here, meet the newest member of the Nintendo Switch family. The newest system features a vibrant 7-inch OLED screen, a wide adjustable stand, a dock with a wired LAN port, 64 gigabytes of internal storage, and enhanced audio. So... The original Switch, I think, is 6.2 inches. Yeah, because this should be 0.8 inches bigger. So it's not much of a difference, but it is a little bigger. Same size. The Switch is still supposed to be the same size. You can use your, like, if you have the original Switch, you, you're supposed to be able to use those Joy-Cons on this Switch. It's all irreversible. It's all backwards compatible to for lack of better words and you can use the old dock on this switch you could use the old switch on this one's dock this switch on the old one old one's dock is what i was trying to say it's interchangeable which i think is pretty cool honestly let's say you're new to the switch you get this one and you have a friend who has the old switch you can bring this new one over and still use a lot of their accessories for yours so that is really cool i feel um, a lot of people will see as we read on that a lot of the changes are very, very minor to the point where most Switch owners right now, you will not feel the need to switch to the... Uh, you get it? <laughs> no, but uh, you will not feel the need to switch over to this new one. And that is just fine. Because, um, yeah, there's not really much of a difference. So you, they're trying to press this 7-inch OLED screen big time. Feast your eyes on vivid colors and crisp contrast You when you play on the go. See the difference the vibrant screen makes, whether you're racing at top speeds or squaring off against enemies. So they're really trying to push that OLED screen. That's why it's obviously called the OLED model. They have that nice, vibrant OLED screen, 7-inch model now, so it's supposed to be bigger and have a crispier picture, nice colors are supposed to pop, brights and darks, vivid all that good stuff so now this is something i like too a wide adjustable stand as you can see here this thing is perfect someone that i was watching uh on nintendo life one of their videos one of the guys on there mentioned how it reminded him of the surface pro stand and i am a owner of the first surface pro very great reliable computer especially for undergraduate college students by the way I know because I was one and I had that same laptop and it worked wonders. Very great laptop. Highly recommend it. But that's that's off topic. But it's very similar to that stand on that one. It's a very sturdy stand on the Surface Pro that you get. And this is very similar to that. So I'm hoping this is similar and it'll be just as sturdy because that stand was great. And the adjustments allow for that that stand that they gave us that poor excuse of a of a popsicle stick that they gave us on the original switch that's just sad literally every time i would try to pop out the stand and hold it up it would fall to the left it would fall to the left because i think it's on the right side so it would lean to the left could be wrong it could be the opposite it could be on the left side and lean to the right whichever way it is it always leaned to one side because it only had that one stand, that small toothpick stand on one edge. Why would you put it all the way to one side? Weight distribution, people. I mean, they're smart enough to know this at Nintendo. I know they are. They made the Game Boy Advance. That needed weight distribution when it comes to angling the little screen you had on there. I don't know what they're doing with that. They fixed it great i'm happy about that um also one other thing nintendo life was mentioning is they were saying this most likely is going to replace the original switch model so the old switch the old nintendo switch as we can see i just realized it says nintendo switch Lite right here i went to a whole other page and looked that up and didn't just decide to that's fine ignore that please <laughs> but um no this switch here they were speculating is going to be replaced by this oled model which makes sense i can see this being the general model what no see them trying to play me trying to make a no no 
No. They know I'm doing a video. That's why they're interrupting me. But um, they were saying, they were speculating. It's not a f true at all. Take it with a grain of salt. But they were speculating that this could be replacing the old original Switch model. And the old original Switch would be like the outdated model. And this one would be the new one that they'll market and advertise a lot. And that alone would be a reason why I would get it. I'm, see, I'm a dumbass. To put it clear, I have a perfectly good, still mint condition, just like new. No scratches, no scuffs. Still brand new Switch. I got it like last year or something, but it's still like brand new. And it just sits there docked all the time. I don't really play too much, even though I have a lot of games. I need to start playing again. But um, my dumbass is going to buy this console. I'm going to buy it, even though I already have a perfectly good Switch. There's no reason. If you have a current Switch, Nintendo Switch, there's no reason why you should be upgrading unless you're a dumbass like me, which is in no way offensive. Please do not take that at offense. I'm a dumbass. That's okay. We're, it's it's going to be fine. Y'all work and be dumbasses together. All right. I'm going to buy this if I can. I mean, the way scalpers are, you can barely get your hands on anything nowadays. It's it's sad, but it's something that's serious, dude. It's like, and when I get through this, I'm going to express my frustration to the highest degree of how mad I am about how scalpers are, scalpers scalpers have been first it started with jordans is when i remember it it started with jays the shoes i have a bunch of pairs of jays i have a seven colorway i uh, i forgot what colorway the sevens are but i have a pair of sevens two pairs of ones and then i have fours i can't remember the exact colorways right now but um i remember when i really started getting into jays when i was like 14 15 and I remember seeing how dudes would have these shoes even way before they came out. And I used to trip on them. I'm like, how do you have those shoes? The, the homies would come to school with shoes that have colorways that haven't even came out yet. And I'm just like, either they're re-released and they haven't re-released them yet. And there's no way you could find it. So that's why they're re-releasing it to get it back out there in circulation. And they have it. And they're new. They'd say they just bought them. And I'm just like, dude, how did you get that shoe? People they know get their hands on these shoes. I don't know exactly how they do it, but they do it. What is it, though? Um, I know it started with shoes, though. Uh, people started scalping shoes. They started really buying them out quickly, selling them double the profit. And especially if they were really sought after colorways or like flu games or, or breads. Don't. Or, or even Space Jams. I still want Space Jam 11s and cannot get my hands on them because people, people, people. That's why people. But that's when I first re uh, remember scalping really becoming big. And then it uh, started with computers. And we all know the nightmare that's been trying to get your hands on a, a GPU for an affordable price as well as a CPU in recent times with the recent chip shortage that's been going on. And then with other things, uh, Xbox, of course, it moved over to that. And now it's it's gotten bad. But if I could get my hands on one of these, I will. I will try my hardest. Remember, people, that you can go in stores and purchase these day of release because they will. They preserve a certain, a, a certain supply um, and a certain amount of these, whatever it is, games, consoles, they'll reserve a certain amount for their particular store. So just keep that in mind that just because you couldn't find one online at the moment, still go into the store and ask and ask and ask. Just the other day, I saw a guy walking out, a kid and his father walking out with the PS5 of, at a Best Buy. It can happen. I'm telling you, it can happen. Um, so don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. But... um. To, to quickly just get through this, it has a wide adjustable stand, built-in LAN port, which is cool for online connecting. It has an Ethernet cord, uh, cord using Dock's LAN port. When it yeah, see, there we go. There's your, LAN, your Ethernet, so you can plug in directly, which is great because God knows we needed it. 64 gigabyte internal storage, but I really like the original Switch. I don't know about the light. But I know about the Nintendo Switch. That one, the original one, has 32 gigabytes onboard storage. This one has 64, so that's cool. Enhanced audio, which I'm excited to see 
and try out. It's supposed to sound better. Enjoy enhanced audio from the system's onboard speakers. Hopefully, it's as good as they say it is. I really do hope so. Three modes in one. You have your TV mode. TV mode. You have your TV mode, of course. Tablet mode or tablet tabletop mode, and then handheld mode. Tabletop and handheld, same damn thing. You're just keeping that undock. I mean, you have that without its joy cons in but it's, it's the same thing same thing by the way i will be getting the white model because it looks very sleek very nice it pops but, excuse me over here choking this is joy con this includes joy con controllers give you the total gameplay flexibility yeah we already know that choose your styles yeah 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 whatever, whatever. fake ass couple uh-huh um <laughs> um no 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 but look look at all this uh um screenshots from the commercial more fakeness oh yeah see look this is the see now this is where i'm a, a real dumbass and a real sucker um just because of the box that alone makes me want to buy the console just because of this box just to own this box right here with this art on it is a reason for me at least for my dumbass to pay $350. By the way, the original Switch is $300, $299. So this is $50 more. This OLED model is $50 more than the previous model. By the way, for those who know. And I think the Switch Lite is $200. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's $200. Um, I know it's right there, but I, I, I gotta get moving on. I'm, 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 almost, I'm almost done. So, um, so yeah, they have their two color models. They have their OLED uh white set and then they have their neon red blue set i already have this model for my original switch that's the colorway i have for it. colorway i'm gonna just call it colorway i mean it's it's smart i'm gonna call these colorways too and this is the this one the white colorway so i'll be definitely getting this one i want to get a screen protector for this one definitely when the 4k model comes out i'm gonna be getting a screen protector i don't have one on my original i need to get one for it just to protect it and i have a case and everything for that one but i want to get another one for this one i'm an idiot okay i'm a sucker for this kind of stuff it comes out i want it where's it at give it to me i want it but that aside we got this out the way i just wanted to ramble on about this like i said i'm a dumbass i'm excited for this tablet even though it's i'm excited for this new variant of the console even though it's nothing different from the old one it's slightly bigger uh it has a bright vibrant oled screen and the sounds good if you don't have a switch perfect time to get one right now beautiful time too just know that it's going to be hella hard pause to get one uh scalpers are ruthless best buy and gamestop already went live for those who don't know today and already sold out right now from what i know as far as i know you know what let's check live let's check well this isn't live but this is live for me me as of right now oh there you go look make sure dread i'm about to get to that and i'm about to get to that in a minute i did just real quick hold on um um, 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 um nintendo switch console okay yeah so let me just put it let me just put the proper nin Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah, I'm like, that's how you spell it. Nintendo Switch OLED. Just to put the right description. Right. So it's still not live for Target as of right now. The websites I know it's not live on is Target, Walmart, and Amazon. So look out for those. Seriously, look out for those. Be on the lookout if you want one. Seriously, go to Twitter follow ign follow uh nintendo now or nintendo life um follow those websites so you can stay in in the loop and find out when they do go live so you can get your hands on hand so you can get your hands on one of these if you guys want one uh like i said i'm a dumbass i'm gonna buy one even though i literally don't need one uh, i'm gonna break myself for it it all comes out the same day i have the i'm gonna have the metroid dread special edition coming which i have yet to get because scalpers i'm you know i want to scalp the scalpers 
I really want to just carve their scalps, you know, take their scalp off. That will show them an accurate representation of how we feel. That pain is equivalent to how we feel when they take everything. But I want to get one of these switches and it's going to break me because this... The Amiibos, all that come out on the 8th for Metroid. Uh, my bank account's going to be negative 5,000 after this. Hope not. I hope not. But um, moving on from that, I already spent over my time. I'm supposed to take... Uh, uh, Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread. Now, I will fight anybody. Uh, listen, listen. I don't think you guys understand me when I say this, okay? I will fight anybody who tries to proclaim the biggest metroid fan i am the biggest metroid fan of all time that there ever was okay and i'm willing to fight for that crown i'm willing to die for that crown i'm willing to go to war you're not that guy pal i'm that guy metroid dread it's a Get on a serious note for a while. Metroid Dread. I am one of the hugest fans of Metroid. I've been playing Metroid since, damn, I was a kid, kid. I remember, so I was born in 2000. Metroid Prime came out in 03. I started playing it right, right around when I was like five or six. We had a GameCube, and that's when I was introduced to Metroid Prime. I remember I played the crap out of Metroid Prime as a kid. I know that game like the back of my hand. I'm not even joking. I know that game so good. It is insane. It's insane. I would definitely do a playthrough of that game on this channel at one point. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I will be doing a playthrough of the trilogy of the Metroids and every Metroid in the series. Seriously, I want to definitely get all the Metroids on here. I'm a huge fan I can't not put them on here. I can't say I'm a Metroid fan and not have Metroid content. But I was blown away when I found out this news was coming. I was at work again. And it was E3, Nintendo's E3. June 15th, I think it was. Um, just last month, uh, that was Nintendo's live E3 showcase. And I was at work. And right around close to lunchtime is when I was able to catch the stream. And it was obviously after it had aired and everything. And I was after the live and all that. So I was watching it. And boom. At lunchtime, I'm like, no. It said Metroid 5. He t First, he started talking about Metroid and how Metroid Prime 4 is going good. Which is good to hear. Which is very good to hear. It has been, what, 2019? is when they had restarted development two years later and he said that it's going good remember it was two years from 2017 2017 metroid prime 4 was announced then two years later january of 2019 i can't remember sagamoto i'm sorry if i don't know who but uh, but that one of the leads to metroid or to metroid one of the leads of nintendo came out and made a video talking about how metroid prime 4 wasn't meeting the requirements the team that they previously had wasn't bringing the heat like they wanted and it wasn't holding up to standards. So they had to restart development. So that was in January 2019. And then fast forward two years later, June of 2021, they have another de another another development from the same guy who talks about it's going good. That is some of the best news we can get two years later. We got good news. The last time we got two year later news from them, it was a bad thing. Now we got two year later news from them. It's a good thing. They're saying it's going smooth. It's going fluent. I'm excited. I am so excited to see Metroid Prime 4. I was so excited just to hear about it. And I was even more excited when they said a new entry to the Prime or to the Metroid series. And then they hit us with Metroid 5. And then they hit us with the name Dread. For those who don't know, Metroid Dread was supposed to be a game in the making years ago. Years ago. When 
uh, it was supposed to be a sequel to Fusion back in 03 when Prime and Fusion dropped. That was when, around that time, a couple years later after that, was when uh, Dread was supposed to be complete. In Metroid Prime 3, when that game came out in 07, there was actually a terminal you can find in the pirate homeworld planet that you go to. There's a terminal you go to, and in that terminal it says and it reads, Project Dread is near completion. That made a lot of people get hyped. People were like, oh, what? What is this Dread? It's supposed to be the unreleased title. Uh, to the pri- or to the regular Metroid mainline series, the 2D series, people were so happy. And then it turns out that the developers of Retro said that that has no correlation to the 2D games, even though I kind of think that's uh, false on there. I kind of think that's bull because the games called Metroid Dread, we had been waiting and speculation was going live about a game called Metroid Dread in development. Never happened. It was supposed to release in sometime in 06. Never did. A year later, they throw out the name and we hear about it again. 19 years since we've had the last 2D Metroid. 19 years, y'all. Damn. Are you serious? But there has not been more of a better time to be a Metroid fan than now. The amount of love that Metroid's been getting recently, thank you all, seriously. Metroid, in my opinion, and it's, it's, it doesn't even need to be said, this is already known. Metroid as a whole has always been a franchise that was overlooked by everybody, Nintendo and most of um, Nintendo's fans. Metroid is one of those very highly underrated titles and it is badass. The game's badass, not the fact that it's underrated. The game is badass. And now, it is literally Metroid Dread was the most pre ordered game that day on E3. Or two weeks later, there was an update, and it was still the most pre ordered game. Beating that of the likes of, of uh, Halo 5 or Halo Infinite and other games like that. Other big titles like that. It was beating out those games. That doesn't say Metroid's been coming up. I I don't know what would. And also, Metroid as a whole has been blowing up the market on the Nintendo, uh, the Wii U. The Wii U market, Metroid is the highest selling game on there. I think Zero Mission uh, is the highest selling with... um, fusion following behind it but it's they're the most sold game on the nintendo wii u market right now which is so exciting because that's showing nintendo yo there's a fan base here and a growing interest and a potential for an even bigger fan base don't kill this nintendo what nintendo needs to do so bad please nintendo bring the virtual console shop to the switch and put fusion zero mission samus returns return of samus uh all those put those on the switch the ones i know that are on the switch is the original metroid and super super's damn near on every console of nintendo's that's nothing new but they need to put the other ones, the other 2Ds, the, the great game that is Zero Mission and the, the literally the precursor to this one, Metroid Fusion, that's going to set this whole game up. By the way, if you guys don't know the series, look up on it, research it, look into Metroid 4 Fusion, Metroid Fusion, get ready for this one because it's going to be a damn banger when it comes out, I promise you. August, August, August. October 8th, I was at work, found out this game was coming out, pissed as hell, go to pre-order it, I wanted to get the special edition, the special edition, look, look at this, look at this, I am a long time Metroid fan, I've been playing like I said since I was 5, 6, my mom introduced me to it, and I've been in love with it ever since, played almost every title, almost every title, except 2 and Fusion. But I've played almost every title, 
but I know Fusion and all the other ones like the back of my hand. I've watched those. Oh, that's my timer. Oh, why does it sound like it's like four of them were going off? Um, I'm not going to take up too much time because that's my timer. That means I need, I need to cut it off. But I'm not going to drift too far because uh, I need to make sure that I will have the motivation to even... Uh, uh, to uh, <laughs> to edit and upload. But um. Oh, yeah, by the way, I know I didn't mention this. Sorry if you guys are hearing the fan in the background. It's rude of me that I never mentioned that. Um, I'm trying to stop the sound as much as possible. I put down the gain, and I put up my volume for the mic, so I'm hoping that'll help. Um, but it is hella hot. I live in Northern California. It is very hot. As you guys, If you guys don't know right now, there is a huge um, heat wave going on right now, and it's really hitting California hard, too. And it has been hot as hell. I mean, look, it says down here 93 degrees. It's it's not a joke, y'all. It's been hitting the hundreds. It's been getting hot. So I, uh, as much as I'm sorry, I have to keep that thing on for my health. So I don't pass out in the middle of me trying to make this video. Um, but yeah, just, uh, I'm sorry I didn't mention that. That's hella rude. But please excuse that. Um. Nonetheless, I was hella pissed. Special edition came out. It comes with an art book. Look at this sexy ass game. It comes with the great steel book. With the Emmy. Extra planetary multi-form mobile identifier. I know my stuff already, y'all. I'm on it. I'm on it. It comes with five art cards. From every game in this, every 2D game in the series, that's Metroid, Metroid 2 Return of Samus, Metroid, or Metroid 3 or Super Metroid, Metroid 4 or Metroid Fusion, Metroid 5 or now Metroid Dread, in that order. So we get those art cards, we get a steel book, which looks fantastic, sexy. And then we get that bomb ass case it comes, or that, yeah, look at that. And then we get the art book from all five of the games, which I definitely want. Look, look, look at the booty. Oh, look at the booty. No, no. Ah, I'm ready. I'm ready. But came to my surprise, course, scalpers. See, the thing that really pissed me off more, I'm not so mad that I, okay, I wouldn't have been as mad that it's sold out if it's sold out from Metroid fans. But it's the fact that people who couldn't give a damn less about this game are the ones who sold it out just to purely make a profit. I'm not even joking. Let's go look at this crap. Let's go look at how stupid so many of these people can get when it comes to this. This is ridiculous. And anyways, by the way, report all these accounts because technically they are not following eBay's guidelines. Oh my gosh. They are not following eBay's guidelines at all. The way it works is you were supposed to cough up the item 30 days after you buy it. After you purchase the item on this website, the seller is supposed to get you. That item is supposed to be at your house 30 days after you purchase the item. The game comes out October 8th. This game was announced June 15th. That is not, that is well over 30 days. They're supposed to guarantee you this game by 30 days. So they are not going by eBay standards. And I wonder how that's going to turn out. I wonder if this is going to blow up in their faces or what. I don't know. People are actually bidding on this crap. 108, 168. This is an $89 game, which is amazing, by the way. You might as well buy this edition because it comes with all this sexy stuff for, what, $40 more? Where usual editions like, like, like...
Oh, so you're not going to show the price here? You're not going to show the $220 price tag? This game is $220, people. $220. I mean, look, it looks pretty sexy. Am I getting this too? Yes. Hell yeah. For the flashlight, by the way. Definitely, mostly for the flashlight. Flashlight. No, but uh, I can't wait for this game. This game is a good game, too. It's going to be coming out. I don't mean to go too far on a side tangent, but this is a $220 price tag. Now, I know it comes with a lot more than this does, but this, in my opinion, is not worth no $220. i am still going to pay it anyways because, like I said, I'm a dumbass, but this is not worth $220. This is at least like a $150, $160, I would say, at the most. Not 220. This is hella reasonable. Hella reasonable. This, nah, nah. 250? 250? I'll fight you. I'll dead ass fight you, B. Nah, but I, no, I, I'll seriously fight you. Not B, because I'm from Cali. We don't say B out here like that. Order received, arrives 10 8. Look, this prick. The only way you get four models. That fast, like he's showing, is if you have one of them bot bots, one of them Emmy bots, those kind of bots shopping. Two hundred and twenty nine dollars, dude. This is thirty bucks. This is retail thirty dollars MSRP from Nintendo. That's from Best Buy, that's from Target, Walmart, any retailer that sells this. $229. Oh, well, it's coming from Japan. Doesn't matter. That's a $29 product. Oh, it's both. Still, regardless. I I didn't notice it was both the Amiibo and uh, the Special Edition. Dude, dude, no, no, no. I know I'm taking longer than I should. We're about to do this. We're about to do this quick maths. We're about to do this quick maths. Okay, good. I can use my keyboard. 89. 100 and let's say 100, like 23 bucks. You'll be paying 123 bucks, maybe 24 with taxes and fees and all that. 100, let's call it 124. My, my CP, I was about to say CPR, OCD. What the hell's wrong with me? CPR. My OCD. Let's call it 125. 125 should be able to get you both the special edition and uh, the Amiibos. 125. This is over $100 over that price. I don't care where it's coming from. It, it, it should not be the worth that much. And it, it is actually sickening and disgusting to see that people do this because all they care about is money. Like, oh, you got to get your hustle on. Now everyone's trying to hustle. But when I was selling drugs back then, nobody was trying to support me on the streets. Um, but, uh, hey, this one's 87. Oh, just for the standard edition? You think I'm going to pay 80 for the standard? Dude, they still have that edition available at retailers. Get out of here, dude. Seriously, this is like frustrating. I need to get off this. This is pissing me off. These people couldn't give a damn less about Metroid. I love the people who are coming to the... Pause. Who are coming to the... Pause. To the um, franchise. I welcome you all with open arms. Metroid community is a great community. um, And I cannot wait to see how far and how huge it expands. Pause. But the scalpers... Dude, don't do that. And if you can, don't buy from them. Try as best as you can not to. I, if you do, I understand. Um, no doubt I'll have this game by the date it comes out. I don't If I have to purchase it from a scalper or if I have to go in stores, I will be getting it day one. It's not good to support them. It's really not. But I understand if you do, 
just because you want it, you really need it. It's it sucks that you literally can't buy anything nowadays that's worth anything because this is what happens to it. I was lucky to get a switch when I did. I don't even want to see what the switch o uh, OEL OEL what the switch OLED version is gonna cost. Three fifty is MSRP retail. They're probably going to try to hit you with a $600, $700 price tag. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw 9 I would not be surprised if I saw a $900 price tag on that console. Especially the white edition. More people are going to want that edition. Since we already have a blue and red. So that white edition is going to be hella sought after. At least a lot of people as of right now are not going to be purchasing it. Because of the fact that it's barely anything new so that can help at least people with the scalpers will see oh well not too many people are buying it it's gonna be sitting there for a while you know i hope all this sits there i hope they don't make a damn dime off of these games they buy or off of anything they buy like that it is disgusting to see that i've been loving this game since i was a child a kid kid and we finally get a Metroid game after so long. We finally get a game. And hey, Nintendo decided to treat us to like, hey, we know how it's been. It's, Nintendo, it's Metroid's 35th anniversary this year and everything, you know. So check this out. We'll throw a little special edition out there for y'all. Scalpers took it all. Can't even enjoy that. Can't have nothing nice. Um, Didn't want to make this a rant about Dumbass scalpers. They're pricks. They're annoying. If you're a scalper, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ah. I'll eat you. I will eat you. Alive. Alive. Scalp your head off and eat you alive. If you're a scalper, you hear that? Hear that? Hear that? It's a knife. It's a knife. That's a knife. Sounds like a cheese grater more than a knife. But, uh, Metroid Dread Special Edition, hella hype getting it. I don't care what I gotta do. I'll rob a dude for it. I'll rob a scalper for it. See him trying to hustle the game online. Find out where he lives, bum rush him for the game, um, take his wallet, take everything he owns, uh, bust up his laptop, and uh, rob him blind for it. I will definitely commit arson for this game if I need to, or any other means of violent act to get a hold of this game that is necessary. Um, for those who don't know, this is a joke. Seriously, like some people would think, oh my, you're so disgusting. You guys don't really know my humor yet. That is a complete joke. A joke is a, a comedic act people make, by the way. Um, these are for people who don't know what a joke is. There's a lot of you guys nowadays who don't know that. Or there's a lot of those. Not my audience. My audience knows jokes. Not like I have any, but... um, Yeah, but... I'm, I'm, I'm getting off on side tensions. I need to go before I don't want to upload this because I'm taking too long. Look. Look. Oh, my. I know I didn't even go over to the description of what this game was supposed to be like. Basically, you're on a planet called ZDR. And you're exploring it because there was a distress signal call, we think. I think that's it. There you got it, like a distress call. In addition to hunting the steel kill, oh, Samus' dangerous mission begins when she descends upon planet ZDR to investigate a mysterious transmission. This remote planet has become overrun by vicious alien life forms and murderous robots called Emmy. Hunt or be hunted as you make your way through a labyrinth of enemies in Samus's most intense side-scrolling adventure yet. Acquire new and familiar power-ups, Samus, an intergalactic booty hunter, raised by an ancient tribe, and traverse the many environments of a dangerous world. Parkour over obstacles, slide through them DMs, 
Ooh, tight spaces. Pause. Counter enemies and battle your way through the planet. Through her countless missions, Samus has never experienced a threat like the dread of ZDR. Yeah. Cuh. Um, power up and find more ways. So there's a lot of things that uh, are going to be similar to Samus Returns for those who played it on the 3DS. This will have similar look, feel. Like, it'll be a more polished feel. You can definitely tell from the graphics and all that. It definitely has better graphics than that game. It's going to be more polished. I already know off the bat. This is going to be... This is the most anticipated game of the year for me. Um, this is my game of the year. I know Resident Evil 8 was currently my game of the year. This one already took the cake. I don't even need... I mean, the cake. Look, Samus has cake. Um... Um... Uh, this game is definitely going to be my gimme year of the year. Don't even have to confirm that by playing it. I already know. Uh, 10 out of 10. IGN. Definitely. Uh, a, definitely a good buy. 90, 98 Metacritic rating. Definitely. Um, uh, everyone's going to give this game an A. Plus, 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 plus. And if you don't. Heard that? That's your door. Go check it. I might be out there waiting. Run them cheeks. Um, no, but uh, I don't know what my dumbass is doing anymore. I just decided to make this video. Decided to be a little stupid, little dumb, little. Re re I was about to say that word, but it's highly offensive nowadays. Uh, retarded. I am not big right now. I don't think anybody's gonna care. You know what? I take that back. You know what? Let me be a good Samaritan when I start. Not be a good Samaritan because I have a following. Let me be that way anyways. I'm sorry. I apologize. I take that back. How's that for a YouTuber apology? First one already. Huh. Looks like I'm going to have a bright future in this industry. Seriously, to leave this on a serious note at the end though. Very hyped for this game. Cannot wait for this game to come out. I most likely won't be playing this game on the channel when it comes out. This is one I really want to experience myself. Oh, but Roman, you said you want to play all Metroid games on your channel. I know, I know. But see, this one I feel... I haven't played a Metroid game, a new one, obviously, in so long since there hasn't been one. This one I kind of want to... I want to experience myself and, and just play personally myself. But um, I'm looking forward to playing other games. I will definitely be putting uh, Dying Light on here. Uh, Dying Light 2 Stay Human will definitely be on this channel when it releases. Um, definitely Halo Infinite. Oh, you already know Halo Infinite's going to be on here. And I have some other games that I'm really looking forward to that are definitely going to be featured on the channel. Metroid Prime 4 is definitely going to be on the channel when it comes out. Whenever that is, 2077, definitely coming out. Um, or definitely coming on the channel. Cannot wait for that. I'm going to go because, dude, look at, let's look at the timer. Oh, gosh. Oh, see, this is what happens. I'm a mess. I can't ever stay stuck to what I told myself I would do. <laughs> but for real. I love you guys. I don't know what this video was. Just wanted to give my opinion. I'll be doing this more. Reviewing more. By the way, there's Dead Space Rumors. This month, 22nd, I believe, EA will be holding a showcase. Speculation going up. A possible Dead Space reboot. It's... Not confirmed by anyone. Those were just the rumors. What kind of helps is the fact that the official Dead Space YouTube page, the profile picture was updated recently in over eight years. Eight years. It was updated over eight years. So we're hoping that that can mean something. I don't know. I don't know. I had to see. We'll have to see. 
I hope it's Dead Space. I just got done playing Dead Space 1 again and getting into the franchise again. It'll be really cool if they brought that franchise back and did a fourth one. It sucks because Visceral Games, Michael Condry, and all the team of Visceral will not be on that game, most likely, because they're doing the Callisto Protocol coming out next year. So they most likely... Yeah, I know about my games. You're going to... you all about to find out. And that's why I want to share my opinion on here because I, I just have such a love and a passion for video games and news. And I read articles all the damn time. I'm constantly reading articles all the time. That's like my books. You guys read books. People read books. I read articles. It's pretty similar, honestly. Uh, not really, but um, you could get a lot of good information from articles. I read all kinds of articles all the time, especially about games. And from all kinds of developers and news and all that. And uh, I I have to upload. I have to keep making videos about games. It's just such a passion that I'd be stupid not to because it'd be, it'd be just wasting. I, I feel it'd all just be wasting away from what I know about it all. But um, yeah, there is a potential Dead Space reboot coming. Maybe, possibly. Take that with a grain of salt. Hopefully we see something like that. Hopefully we get it. I don't know. EA did say they were rebooting one of their old IPs. We're whole IPs. Um, hopefully it's Dead Space. If not, don't even show me it. Seriously, I'd rather not even know what it is. I don't think there's any other game like that that really hits for me personally that EA made. That would really catch my eye coming back other than like a Dead Space. But um, if they do that best believe it's going to be on the channel when that comes out if it's a thing um i will be making a video now of updates different things that i want to talk about as soon as they come out i'll be making a video about it talking about it just giving my opinion and uh just putting it out there i feel everyone gives their opinion it's it's great to see our everyone's opinion and i feel i have a space on youtube to do that as well so i want to take advantage of that as if i can and hey maybe even growing a beautiful following with a lot of beautiful people out there humble people you know but um i love you guys seriously whatever this video was i hope you guys took something from it and learned something from me from it as i said a lot of that was joking a lot of silliness i might act dumb sometimes act serious sometimes but um i want to keep it light mooded in here you know not so tense all the time but um, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Seriously, if you guys like, if you guys watched, thank you guys. If you guys liked it, leave a comment, like, comment, subscribe if you guys want. Um, share, share this with anybody, I don't know, who would else want to see my dumbass. Um, but yeah, cannot wait. Super excited. Really excited. Cannot wait for this to pop off can't wait i'm not gonna edit this video i'm gonna just upload it screw it i love you guys thank you guys for watching and i uh, can't tell you exactly when my next video will be up i have to see when i'll be doing a lot of update videos like this definitely with all new news coming out and all that but uh yeah love you guys thank you guys for watching hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see you all in your beautiful faces in the next video. Stay humble. Stay beautiful. Stay beautiful. Stay humble. Sit down. I love you. Bye-bye.